I'm John Larson, Technical Trainer for EpiRock USA, Surface and Exploration Drilling. Today we're going to be talking about how to adjust the chain tension on a FlexiRock D65. This will also apply to FlexiRock D60s, SmartRock D65s, and SmartRock D60s. To adjust the chain tension, it's located right here at the top of the cradle. In this video, this is not the position you do it. You do it with the cradle all the way to the rearward position so we can see how much sag we have in the actual chain. But for this video, we're doing it for visual purposes. To adjust the chain, we're gonna loosen up all six of these jam nuts and tension it with the front nuts to get the slack out of the chain. When we do this, we have to do them evenly. So we'll take a measurement from the bottom here to the bottom of here on this plate on the cradle. We also have to measure from the bottom of this plate on the cradle to this point right here. That way we're not cocked or off center, creating more tension on this bolt or this bolt and keeping everything in alignment. When you've completed adjusting your chain and your measurements are correct and even, be sure you lock down the jam nuts that you loosened up for adjusting it. There's two grease circs on here that when you do your rotation unit maintenance, as far as your greasing programs, be sure that those get grease as well so this is easily adjustable in the future. If you need further assistance with adjusting the feed chain tension, please contact your local EpiRock service center or dealer in your area.